this video, let's learn about the histology of the hyaline cartilage. The hyaline cartilage is so called because of its transparent appearance and the hylose meaning glass. That means it's glass like. Its intracellular substance have many collagen fibers in its matrix. And these collagen fibers are arranged to resist the tensional forces and the hyaline cartilage has been compared to a tire. Towards the center of the mass of the hyaline cartilage, the chondrocytes are large and they are usually present in groups that means two or more in number and these groups are formed by division of the single parent cell and these cells tend to remain together because the dense matrix prevent their separation and the group of these cartilaginous cells are called as the cell nests or the isogenous cell groups. So these are the cell nests or the isogenous cell groups. Towards the periphery of the cartilage, the cells are small and elongated and they lie in the direction that is parallel to the surface that is the perichondrium. This is the perichondrium. And these elongated cells become indifferentiable from the fibroblasts. So these are the chondrocytes and they form the cell nest and this white color gap is called as the lacunae. Around the cell nest, the matrix stains deeper than the surroundings and they give an appearance of a capsule. This deep staining matrix is newly formed and it is called as the territorial matrix. And it is also called as the lacunar capsule. And this pale staining matrix is called as the interterritorial matrix. And the calcification of the hyaline cartilage is often seen in the old people and the coastal cartilage or the large cartilages of the larynx are commonly affected due to the calcification of the hyaline cartilage. And you should remember the elastic cartilage and the fibrocartilage does not undergo calcification. Only the hyaline cartilage may undergo the calcification. Now coming to the distribution or the location of the hyaline cartilage. The hyaline cartilage is present in the coastal cartilage. That means these coastal cartilage are itself the bars of the hyaline cartilage. Those connect the ventral ends of the ribs to the sternum. And the cellularity of this coastal cartilage also decreases with the age. And the hyaline cartilage is also present in the articular cartilage. That means the articular surfaces of the most synovial joints are lined by the hyaline cartilage and these articular cartilages provide the bone ends with smooth surfaces that lie between where there is very little friction. And these articular cartilage that is made up of the hyaline cartilage also act as a shock absorbers. And you should remember the articular cartilage is not covered by the perichondrium and their surface is always kept moist by the synovial fluid that also provides nutrition to this cartilage. And some other sites where the hyaline cartilage is present, that is the skeletal framework of the larynx, in which the thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage and the arytenoid cartilage are composed of this hyaline cartilage. And the walls of trachea and large bronchi contains incomplete rings of this cartilage. In growing children, the long bones consist of a diaphysis that corresponds to the shaft of the bone and one or more bony epiphysis that corresponds to the ends and each epiphysis is connected to the diaphysis by a plate of the hyaline cartilage and this plate is called as the epiphyseal plate and this epiphyseal plate is very essential for the bone growth so guys this is all about the hyaline cartilage if you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists